as we approach the solstice, we're going to find that we have amazing opportunities for growth. But it is so important to be aware of what's happening around you because you are going to start to be able to perceive elements or aspects of new earth of 5D. I was coming home last night and uh, in the car driving and I saw these really strange looking clouds, completely blue sky. This one cloud, very, very dense looking, smaller clouds around it. Immediately I connected, I felt that these were craft. And what happens is when they start to vibrate into our field, into our reality, the technology that these craft use becomes physical and the power actually ionizes the atmosphere and clouds form. So when you're looking in the sky and you're seeing these weird cloud formations, maybe it's just like a cloudless sky, except for a few here and there. And there was this one big one and smaller ones around it. There were a couple of areas where this was occurring, right? So there were multiple formations like this in the sky and they were just kind of hanging there. But you connect in and you start to feel that this is just the Federation, right? Higher frequency aspects, your ETs, ET guides, however you want to term it, coming down into the field. Now, because we're approaching the solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere, we've got all this light streaming in. I know a lot of you that I've spoken with are going through a lot of healing and a lot of clearing. There's a lot of density coming up. So your fields are expanding. And as you reconnect with your body and you allow this dense energy to move, your consciousness expands. So as that happens, your field vibrates at a higher frequency and you start to see a higher frequency reality. It's like you're looking out through a lens of a higher vibrational dimensional field. So that was what was happening with me yesterday. I started to perceive this. So as they come down to where we could perceive it, their technology has an effect on our universe and on our atmosphere. So they manifest as clouds. I know a lot of people think they're hiding as clouds. Um, I guess sometimes they do hide as clouds, but a function of their propulsion, of their technology manifests when it comes down into our reality, it becomes technology and it reacts with our atmosphere and it ionizes the atmosphere and it causes cloud or water vapor droplets to form. So when you're experiencing that, these cloud formations that don't look random, they look like there's some sort of intelligence behind them. They're just kind of hanging there, right? Really strange. You'll notice this and you'll be able to connect with your heart space. The solstice is providing a huge opportunity. There are lots of craft coming in now to our field. And the more you work to heal and get inside, the more you raise your frequency, you're going to start to be able to perceive these. And the first way they appear as, as these weird, strange looking cloud formations, right? Uh, so... We're rising up to where we can see them. So very, very powerful opportunity. But again, the important thing you need to do at this time is to continue to honor all aspects that are rising up from within you because your higher self is showing you what is blocking you, what's in the way, where the energy blockages are. If you're feeling pains in your body, get in, sit with that, feel it, breathe with it, consciously focus into that area, squeeze it and release it. That gets energy moving and it will start to move up through your central channel and it will get up here and you will start to, out of this torque field, start to perceive a higher frequency reality. There's nothing really special about this. There's nothing, no big secret about this, right? We all wanna look outside externally, try and find the magic when we can connect with it in here by simply clearing the energy and clearing your central channel, the magic will just start to reveal itself externally. You're going to start to perceive it just as I did yesterday. If you're out at night, start to notice the energy around the trees, right? Your third eye's lighting up. You're starting to be able to perceive energy and notice what's moving in the sky. Somebody asked me a question a couple of weeks ago on a video. How do I know whether it's a satellite or it's a craft? Well, for one, you feel. You can feel it. A craft will communicate with you. They're conscious, okay? And the beings that are creating the craft, conscious, okay? So you can connect with them. Craft will also move in non-complete, you know, linear ways. They won't just come across the sky at a steady speed in, a, in the same direction. They will move. I've seen them move. I've seen them do U-turns. 
I've seen them come around in flash. They have power-ups. They flash. More consciousness moving into this atmosphere creates a power-up. You can feel that. When you're connecting with these energies and you feel it, they may very well respond, right? So it's so important to not get caught up in what your eyes are showing you so much. That's just the doorway. Step through that doorway and get back into here and feel. Because once you become aware of these higher frequencies, and however they manifest, either as your guides, your higher self, you know, ET, craft, whatever, whatever that is, as you become aware of these, you're opening a portal, opening a doorway to bring the information that that connection contains forward. You start to be able to perceive it. But the way to do that is to get into the heart space and feel and breathe, okay? And just allow yourself to slow down to become present. Use the external stimuli as just an arrow as a reminder to get back in here. And you will start to be able to connect, start to be able to perceive. Energy will start moving through your body at a higher, faster rate. Your frequency will rise and your reality will start to reflect things that were previously unseen. This is all you manifesting into a physical reality. When these things come down, we meet these things, we rise up to them, they come down, they start to manifest. They start to become part of our physical universe. Okay, so you will be able to start to have these types of experiences. Maybe you're seeing energy, maybe you're seeing shadows, maybe you're feeling things around your home, whatever that is, just honor that little nudge and bring it back into the body and sit and feel. You may have fear come up, you may have excitement come up, you may have anxiety come up, whatever it is, all these are blockages, right? Get back into the body and feel them and you will continue to expand your consciousness. You will become more aware of what's happening around you. And again, those things that were previously unseen will become seen. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you.